Delhi has reported 300 cases of dengue in the last week alone, according to official data. Delhi has reported 1,238 dengue cases so far in the month of October, taking the national capital's total tally to 2,175 so far this year, the report stated. However, no death was reported in Delhi due to mosquito-borne disease so far this year. The 140-year-old suspension bridge in Gujarat's Morbi, which collapsed on Sunday, killing over 140 people, was closed seven months ago for repairs and was reopened on October 26 without a fitness certificate. A river group that makes Ajanta wall clocks was awarded the contract to maintain the bridge. The private firm threw the bridge open to visitors without notifying us, officials said. The Supreme Court today criticised the use of two-finger tests for rape survivors, saying those conducting this unscientific invasive method of examining should be prosecuted. Justice D.Y. Chandrachud said, It is patriarchal and sexist to suggest that a woman cannot be believed when she states that she was raped merely because she is sexually active, Chandrachud said. TMC Member of Parliament Shatrugan Sinha said Congress leader Rahul Gandhi has proved his leadership abilities through the Bharat Jodo Yatra. I feel that Gandhi's Yatra will help double the tally of the Congress in Parliament in the next Lok Sabha polls, said Sinha. He added that people have accepted Rahul and those who made fun of him have been proven wrong. India reported 1,326 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours, according to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. This comes a day after the country recorded 1,604 new COVID-19 cases. The active cases in India now stand at 17,912. The COVID-19 death toll so far has reached 5,29,024. Currently, the recovery rate stands at 98.78%. Leftist Luis Inácio Lula da Silva has won the election to become Brazil's next president after defeating incumbent Jair Bolsonaro. Lula, who will become the president for the third time, won with 50.9% of votes compared with 49.1% for Bolsonaro, the Supreme Electoral Court said. The 77-year-old's inauguration is scheduled for January 1, 2023. The Indian pair of Satvik Sairaj, Ranke Reddy and Chirak Shetty won their first ever Super 750 title and their second title of the season by winning 2022 French Open men's doubles final. They defeated Chinese Taipei's Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han 21-13, 21-19 in the final. They are the first Indian doubles pair to win a Super 750 title.